that kind of ministry where there is there is hardly anybody physically on ground has no other root but the pit of hell as if you are left behind while I am running no be me do you run with speed so that you don't become history while you are alive you must run with speed so that you don't become angry when you are left behind. Bomb is dropping off. Hey! 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 Somebody lift your hands and say, I shall run with speed. I shall run with speed. I shall run with speed. I can't afford the bitterness of the left behind syndrome. You are left behind while I am running. No, be me, do you? <laughs> Somebody say, Amen. I have seen people. Many are looking up to you today because raw preaching, the demonstration of the power of God, real gospel preaching with signs, with wonders, life transforming preaching, addiction breaking preaching, yoke destroying preaching, fire imparting preaching. Destiny changing preaching is all gone. All gone. Either it is principles or rubbish message of grace. That's right. You were the one telling me now the other day when we met. He talked told me about three people. Eight thousand seater dome. It's now two hundred and fifty members inside. Preach until he preach away everybody. 8,000 seater dome. I won't mention where it is. Preach until everybody says, what kind of rubbish is this? What you once preach before you preach completely against it. Now, if you say you have the ministry of Jesus and what you are preaching is from Jesus, Jesus is a crowd puller. Whether he was in the seashore, crowds gathered. He was in the temple, crowds everywhere. What kind of rubbish preaching are you preaching? That you cannot put camera on the crowd because nobody is there. It's ministers conference so we tackle ministry matters. We tackle ministry matters. If you are preaching the ministry of Jesus, nobody preach holiness like Jesus. Nobody preach principles like Jesus. Nobody preach everything like Jesus. He was crowded everywhere. Any angle he turned, crowd. Anywhere he turned, crowd. When Kaduna said the other day, crowd. After your crusade, that was the next crowd. After Bonke's crusade. Kaduna was 91? 1990. That was 34 years, 34 years ago at uh, Motala Square. Motala Square. We did in the, in the stadium. See, this is the only crowd that is, the only crowd comparable to this is Bonke crowd. Yes. Who are in? Oh, everywhere. And Jesus no offering is being taken on the on the grounds. Hundred, eight, hundreds of buses, if, if minimum a hundred, brought people everywhere. I paid from my pocket, my own. The church didn't pay for that. 
The whole bill of the crusade came from my own pocket. I said, tell me the bill. Once they tell me, I signed it in one check. That is, you are the one praying for the people, taking testimonies, two girls born deaf and dumb, spoke on the same day, and then all my own miracles happen. You are the same person who paid for the people to come for the crusade. That's how to live. That's what I think. Amen. Can you just show us the cardinal crusade? Without a dime taking a suffering. Right? That the ministry of Jesus heals, it saves, it delivers, it liberates. It is crowded. God's glory sanctuary that was dedicated on Sunday. Majesty. Has basements with overflows. Main sanctuary. Beautiful. Office complex, and it's already overwhelmed. People are already sitting on the roadside. It was a crusade size outside, and I said to them, I'm coming there for a crusade. Hallelujah. It's not of him that will it or run it, it's of God that showed it mercy. Calm down. You know, God weighs people's hearts before He puts things in their hands. That breakthrough that will never will not glorify God will never happen. He weighs the heart of people. He say, Jacob I have loved, Esau I have hated. They have not behaved or misbehaved yet. From birth, still in the womb. They have not been born. They haven't behaved. They haven't misbehaved. Jacob I loved, Esau I hated. Lord, why will you hate a baby that is not yet born? I am not hating him in his babyhood. I am hating, hating the behavior of his future. I know how he's going to behave. I know he can sell anything for food. Somebody say loud amen. Look at Psalm 19 verse 5. Psalm 19 verse 5. Psalm 19 and in verse 5. Start from verse, from verse 1. Let's start from verse 1. Young men run races strong men when they see your size and see your result it doesn't match when they see your age and see your result it doesn't match ay, 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 ay. even your even for some of for, for some people here your experience you are five years in ministry six years ten years you are seeing results of people of 30 years. In the year of 2007, Abuja Stadium was already jammed to capacity. 2207 is 17 years ago. You can show us the clip. 17 years ago. 17 years ago. By the time we were four or five years, fields were jamming with people. Then when our path crossed with Rehad Bonke, he took, he went to another level. We'll talk about that tomorrow. It's unaccounted for. Nobody can say, how? Seventeen years ago. I wonder why it's taking you such a long time to show us the National Stadium. Show us a preaching segment. And you'll see your sincerely there. The look hasn't changed so much. I think I'm looking younger now than then. Somebody say amen. Gates of this stadium. Your story has already changed forever. Change forever. Change forever. The Bible says, Who is seen that saith, and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not. He frustrated the tokens of liars. All right, that's okay. He make a divine as man. He said, That's it. Here's this National Stadium here. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? 
Six services overflow. Five services overflowing. You need, we need, how many of us are ready for that strength today? Five little canopies outside as overflow by first anniversary. As overflow by the first church anniversary. By the second anniversary, it has shifted road. Exploits. Exploits. That is the typical area one service. That is people sitting outside the fence. That was 2017. We came here 2018. That was just the year before we came. Tuesday morning, healing and deliverance service. Hallelujah. That kind of ministry where there is, there is hardly anybody physically on ground has no other route but the pit of hell. Ministry that ministers more to unbelievers than to the church. That excites sinners more than the church. From the pit of hell. Jesus will never allow such to flourish. Mark it. Was that a cardinal crusade? Show us the, the clip of the crowd shot. Is God speaking to anybody here at all? They are outside the stadium. Things were happening. Blind were seen outside. We got to hear that later. In our generation today, I think we are suffering from a lot of mutism. May the Lord open our tongue against the forces of hell. The silence of good people is more dangerous than the utterance of wicked people. I'm not waiting for a robots anymore. His time is gone. Out of you, Shemback. They are gone. They, they play their own evangelist right hand bunker. His time is gone. You are. When I sent him the clip of, of, of Jalingo Crusade, when he saw it, he said, This is our crusade. This is Bunker Crusade. This is right, a bunker crusade. Then next thing he said, he said, I am excited that even though Bunky is gone, the spirit of mass evangelism has not left Africa. Amen. I'll make him say one or two things about that tomorrow. Hallelujah. Now, this is not Abuja. This is not Lagos. This is not Christian dominated Port Harcourt Calabar this is far not May, plenty of Muslims Kaduna especially this is not this. in the heat of terrorism bomb blast terrorists blowing up communities this time that was where we went you are going to lift up your hands. And there are people, if you pay them one billion naira, they won't go to that place. Even Kano, we went to Kano. You know, Kano, Kano, where you people ran away from. And they had to go because the riot was so terrible. You know, one bishop, I think it was Bishop Ransom, one of the bishops told us, he said, the crusade that we had in Kano the only crusade that could have been like Kano was the Rehabonki crusade that didn't hold. It was the Rehabonki crusade that failed to hold. That was the only crusade that could have been that size. Otherwise, in their history, to their knowledge of that city, nothing like that ever happened. That is a place where the worst kind of you are there, you know, you are in Kano. Very correct. 
that was the place where the worst kinds of religious crisis has ever happened in this nation. When there. That was Kano. We have, we have jokers in pampas. Standing who don't know exactly what ministry impact, what, what, what territorial impact is all about. Huh? Because you can be 80 years old and wear pampas and be 18 and be matured. Brent is cure for threat. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> the only reason why you fear the threat is because you lack the strength. When the strength is there, the threat is nothing. You, do you understand what I'm talking about? In the days of the storm, in the days of adversity, what makes you stable on the ground that makes it up, behave, appear as if nothing is happening is inner strength, resilience. And I'm not talking from theory. I'm talking from a practitioner's point of view. The person to listen to is the person who has the proof of what he's talking about. Not theoretical knowledge. Right? I'm, I'm, not theoretical knowledge. You know, there are some theoretical online people. <laughs> Nothing on ground. Church is practically empty. Zero. 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 those listening to them online is, they are not helping them at least they should have ascended a physical church <laughs> theoreticians many many years ago I went to preach in Living Faith Church in Boko that was before we ever had any branch maybe in Bermuda State or in Boko you remember and I saw the building and it was like other Living Faith Churches everywhere I say, how can this man be in Lagos? And these things are happening everywhere and he's not there. And the Spirit of the Lord said to me, it is inside him. He just pushed them out. It is his content. It's a, a deposit, but he must push it out. The, 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 the availability of divine deposit in a man is the responsibility of God. The deposit that you will carry, your potential, your, your, your graces and your giftings will be God's responsibility after you have done some things. But the manifestation of that deposit is the responsibility of man. The father will put the seed in his wife, but he cannot push out the child for the wife. The madam woman must push out the seed. If you go to Lagos Church today, where we satellite the first act church that you just saw on the screen, that is the headquarter of a ministry. Am I communicating? If you go there, that, that is the you say international headquarter of a ministry. Now, the fact is that there are plenty of them in Lagos like that. Even in that axis, that first act town alone, that axis. Oh, cook all manner, satellite and papa everywhere. You go to Makodi in Bible State, that one is like it's like uh, flies. They are in their structures over 40 something. How many are they within the city now? Over 60 churches within one town, all running their services inside their properties. In their numbers. By the strength of the Lord. And people are staying inside dilapidated buildings that is not equal to a house fellowship center. Hey. Making noise. Hey. Hey. Dilapidated buildings. 
not equal to a house fellowship center making noise. Paul the Apostle, once in a I say, I speak as a fool. Let me boast more. Do you remember Paul the Apostle? When he began to talk, he said, let me boast more. I speak as a fool, but let me boast more. What is reality? <laughs> hey! We went to Lagos the other day. The Americans and all the guys followed us. Two planes went with us. No dime was dropped. Two private planes carried people to go. Do you understand what I'm talking about? These are not things we talk about. You, you just move about in simplicity. And you come to crusade grounds and you, you preach without raising offering. Please, I want you to gain strength. I want you to gain strength. I want you to gain there are many things inside you that need to be better. I want you to gain strength. I want you to gain strength. I want you to gain strength. And that strength is coming out of you right now. Lift your hands and shout strength. Lift your right hand and shout strength. Lift your right hand and shout the loudest strength. Place your hand on yourself and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am giving birth. Port Harcourt Church is in construction right now. I won't tell you the how much the, the, the land alone. You know how costly land is in Port Harcourt? This is about 20 plus of land together. Inside town on, 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 on 28 plots. Inside town. Airport, what do you call it? Stadium Road. Right there, smack dab. Bought in 11, 10 figure amount. Free of charge. Mate, it was as free as 10 figure in our currency. Fully paid for. Without stress on any location. No membership str stress. Nothing. No pressure of fundraising from the church of any sort. We don't talk about these things. But you move steadily, effortlessly, without stress. Causing the work of the Lord to go ahead. Talkativeness is not equal strength. Noise is not the same as strength. Impact is proof of strength. In Paracord. Oh yes. Paracord has its churches in tens of, of, of numbers. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Today, Peter said, such as I have, I give unto you. And if there is anything you have seen here that you desire in your life, it is coming upon you right now. And the battles of life, they don't serve your notice. I don't know whether it will not be close to 20 years now. When there was the demolition exercise where our church is where well, our church was in the year 2000 this is 24 years we had it massive they pulled down i mean i think it was only our church that remained standing at that side everything left everything right all man even the bulldozer was there already on our church premises the first bulldozer crashed first it just stopped working in front of our church. Now, the newspaper had already carried it that our church had been demolished already. So, a, ma a pastor ran to me. He said, this is the news I'm hearing. 
In fact, it has been carried in the news. And he knows people in the authorities where they approve building plans that those authority people said that the building, the church is gone. While he was fidgeting, coincidentally, I spoke to that pastor today on phone. While he was fidgeting, I said, Calm down. I said, Calm down. That was a storm, it was a generous storm, but there was a rugged inner strength. I told him, Calm down. And I told him two things. Number one, I said, No one built this church for us, and no one can take it down for us. Because Jesus said, No man taken my life from me. I have the power to lay it down, I have the power to take it up. So I said, If it is time to bring it down, no authority will bring it down. And if it is time to build it up, nobody. I said, secondly, not one stone will come out, come down from this building. Go and sleep. I gathered them. I said the same thing to the pastors. The bulldozers, bulldozers came. The first one grounded in front of the church and went beyond it. Continued demolition. Come. I heard that the minister at that time came and just stood like this, looking at the church. What is this? completely helpless because strength is cure for threat <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> the only reason why you fear the threat is because you lack the strength when the strength is there the threat is nothing you, do you understand what I'm talking about in the days of the storm in the days of adversity what makes you stable on the ground that makes it happen, behave appear as if nothing is happening is inner strength restless and I'm not talking from theory I'm talking from a practitioner's point of view the person to listen to is the person who has the proof. Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and grateful. You guys have watched the video. That is Dr. Paul Eneche. You know, you don't used to speak. You don't used to speak anyhow. Whenever I want to reply Damina like this, you used to give it to him in a hot way. So, you guys have watched the video. I'm only here to present what he said to you guys. You see, this is the version of Christianity we are practicing in our, con in our continent. This is the version of Christianity we are practicing in our generation. Christianity full of bitterness and anger. Christianity with unforgiveness. Christianity of wickedness. That is the kind of Christianity we are practicing. Christianity full of money. It's not money. Everything is money. Somebody that has no proof. And you have proof because you have members. So member is not proof. So the sources of a ministry, of mini in ministry, is not members. Material accusation. But in the time of Jesus, it was not so. In the time of Jesus, it was souls. Sinners that we are able to convert to saint. And not uh, believers. You are able to convert to yourself. The same uh, uh, Christian. You bring the person from another church to your church. And make the person your member. And they call it what? Uh, a success. Ministry. Uh, ministry. Success in ministry has nothing to do with physical acquisition. As a material acquisition. Or physical or members or whatever. No. We must not measure ministry like that. And there's no competition here. Why are we competing to eat with each other? This one has no proof. I have proof. Fiscal, in fiscal life, church is zero. But uh, online, gullible members. Well, it's well, oh, may God show us mercy. And then, uh, may God restore you back. Whatever you have lost, he, he was this and that. Now he's no longer like that because he was he's, because he's preaching rubbish. For me, if he's preaching rubbish, rubbish, I don't know. 
rubbish rubbish uh, message of grace rubbish message of grace if he's preaching that kind of thing i don't know all i know is that we must love our love your fellow human being that is what bible say bible say we should love there is no love they are now running it as business who will win who will get more followers who my customer that is why you, this bitterness and jealousy is coming out that is why wickedness is coming out because they are not seeing the matter as business tight 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 this one say tight this one say don't tight this one say you must tight be confusing people where are we going to stand where do you want who guys want us to stand this one say that shall not tight the other group say no that must tight the other group say yeah say uh, uh, salvation Everything is has done has been Christ has done everything. And then these are all sorts of things. They'll be preaching different, different gospel. This one preach up, this one preach down because everybody is trying to twist the gospel to suit his or her pocket. That is the kind of Christianity we are practicing in our generation. Imagine, but in the time of Jesus, I could remember that they preach one gospel. They preach one book gospel. Jesus came that sinners may repent. It's not uh, all about packing members and the, the everything now. If you want to talk now, it's my members. Hey, you have don't have members? I have plenty. No, sir. No, sir. And actually, no, sir, with all due respect. No, sir. It's not about that. What we're actually saying here is this. Sir, you have not even responded to what we are saying. According to, you say, don't listen to a man that does have, that have proof. So you have proof now. You have members. Forgetting that Simon the sorcerer was also having, also had proof because he had members. Yes, Simon the sorcerer had members. False prophet right now in our continent, in our own generation, false prophet even have more members than genuine men of God because people have inches ear. They don't want to listen to genuine gospel again. That which Bible that was written in the Bible is happening in our generation. So we must not measure success in ministry with number of people we are able to convert to yourself. No, sir. Check all the false pro online false prophets you see there now with crowd. So why can a genuine man of God be compelling himself with another person with, because of crowd and what he was able to, to make through extortion, manipulation, and others? When you say somebody give, say that God will give you, I will give. God will not give me. Is that not fraud? After extorting from people, eh, you should pay tight. If I don't pay tight, things will be tight for me. I pay the tight. After paying the tight, things, things, uh, the same thing, things is still tight for me. Do you to scam me? After that kind of method of extorting from people, you now come and be telling me that uh, you are now the chief of God. I am the one in charge that has the highest anointing because after because you have you are success in the extortion and you guys call it what Christianity we must behave like Christ imitate me as their own children imitate Christ where is Christ now in this the question is this the nature sir with all due respect the question we are asking here is this do you know Dr. Ebed Arena? Did God use Dr. Ebed Damina to give birth to your church? The registration of this your church, do not miss gospel church. Dr. Ebed Damina, is he one of the trustees? He did not answer this question because a lot of evidence is coming out. Ebed Damina has dropped another evidence that he's even one of the trustees of your church, meaning that he's one of the owners of your church. Now, he did not answer that. The next thing you go now is go and be dragging the matter now with heavy abusive words as usual, with a unnecessary intimidation or whatever. This you know, empty church, all this and that. No, sir. Answer us this question. Okay? You don't need to overlook this. A lot of evidences. So if God is using to do this for your church, then why this ungratefulness? Why this attitude? Why this so much bitterness? Why this so much anger? If somebody treats you like this, how will you feel if God is really using to do this? 
So whatever be the case, I just want to present this matter to you guys. So I want to appreciate God for your life. My happiness is that you, Dr. Paul and Nature, you're not a false prophet. Because I saw many people commenting on comment section about Facebook and the, uh, YouTube. Uh, this false man. No, sir. Dr. Paul and Nature is not a false preacher. He's not a false man of God. He's not a false teacher. He had genuine call of God upon his life. The only problem he has is that he missed the journey when he entered this group of Yahoo group that is tormenting him now, moving around. Hey, hey, those group that cannot, Bishop David Oyedepo's group, that cannot do without telling people what they acquire. That's all about prosperity, all this prosperity group. Upon that, to show you that God has the call, he has genuine call of God upon his life, upon that, still, he's still preaching salvation message. Why Oyerepo? Nothing concerns him, concerning salvation. So, his problem is, when immediately he entered that group, that is where his problem starts. His problem started when he entered that group. He now had the heart of those groups, the heart of wickedness, the heart of bitterness and anger, the heart that has no control. So, those group of pastors, they have that kind of heart. Heart without ungrateful heart. Heart without conscience. Heart that can do anything to make money. So that's that kind of heart inherited it from those group of preachers. But for you to tell me that it's a false prof prophet, a false teacher, Paul and Nature, sir, ma, no sir. I disagree. He's not. Okay? He's not. We, are, we only owe him prayer. We know that one day God will restore him back to us. God will help him to realize that. I think I have stepped out where I'm not supposed to go. I think I need to go back. Everything is not about money. It's not about money, money, money. Yes, money is good. Yeah, it's good. In the time of Jesus, how many crowd, how many crowd Jesus was moving around everywhere he goes. He will pull cloud. He will pull crowd, yes. But don't forget that the disciples, he said many people left the minute. Of course they will now. Of course they will. They will. When you are starting from people deciding not to start again, of course, people that like that extortion will go. Because they have been brainwashed. They like that extortion. The time of Jesus, how many disciples? How many remain with him? So whatever, Jesus was pulling crowd. I agree. Gospel is all about pulling crowd because it's good news. I agree. Okay? Thank you, sir. So by the grace of God, you also pull crowd. Now, you don't make it to look as if all these pastor that doesn't pull crowd, they, don't, they are not serving the new God. They are not worthy to be listened to. Because as you are talking now, you think that you are talking only to Damina. Not forgetting that there are also, also pastors that, that are not pulling crowd, that are also there. They were there listening to you. They will be regretting. Does it mean, okay, that means I'm not worthy to be listening to because I'm not pulling crowd. So stop all this kind of preaching. If you want to preach gospel, preach gospel. You guys should not be using pulpit and be attacking each other. Look at where you started that. You may be mention at it. PM members, everybody. Yeah, so hey, because they knew that that message was for them. How can you guys be planting bitterness in the life of people in the name of preaching? I will, me, I will go to church. We'll sit down, the pastor will now begin to say, Hey, woman of God, guys, we don't have that kind of time here. No. <laughs> If I manage to stay there and that your go, that your church, that service finish, I will never cross that place again because I have no kind of time to go to church and you guys will not carry your matter, your bitterness and come and transfer to me. You guys should repent now. Repent. Abba. Say no to manipulation. Simple. Say no to extortion. Simple. You're just fighting this thing. I see there's something there now. Say no. You can do without it. You have plenty of money now. It's okay. Then say no to this thing now. Nah. So you guys will rest. You go chill. Nah. Thank you guys for listening. Love you guys. Child of God, no God for yourself. To be free from the manipulations of men. No God and no peace. Don't allow this man to deceive you. If maybe because Damina may, maybe because Damina is one of the trustee. Maybe it could be the reason. All this denier it because he don't want it to come tomorrow and say, give me my court of my, the court. The annual return. So I don't know whether is that the reason, whether is the reason for this denial and the, all this drama. 
Now you guys they cry pass. Oh. On Sunday, you guys now you guys they cry pass name of prayer. When you raise altar call like this, prayer point like this, cry everywhere. Yeah. Oh my God. Now you guys they cry pass. Now when I will say things say when they preach holiness now and they whatever. Look at your character. Me, I don't know. Bye for now.